Hey guys, it's Gashman here, and today I'm doing a little bit of a let's play on Dungeon Defenders. Now this is a game created by Trendy Entertainment, and it's I think it's built on Unreal Engine or something like that. So yeah, I've got a whole new save, so we'll just start right from scratch. I'll just play the first mission, obviously, because they are quite long, and there's going to be a lot of editing to do. So, first of all, what should we start with? While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. Alright. So, I'm guessing his staff is like range damage or something. Uh, Squire. I remember using him ages ago. I think he's quite slow. That uh, person's fast. That one I've never used before. We'll start with the apprentice and see how we do with that. Alright, oh, we can change the colour. I forgot about that. This is probably in the most. This probably hurts people's eyes. Alright, let's start. Ooh. Let's let's do the first match by ourselves. Alright, let's go right, ooh. Let's go. Ooh, cutscene. Ithelia was once a land of living legends. Long ago warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes, called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Why's the apprentice got no eyes? Bored with their dreary duties. I just know that stuff. Action How can you see? The pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Now these heroes in training will have to grow up quickly. Together they will defend the Eternia crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. A whole load of rape feasts. Dungeon Senders. Right. Yeah, so what's this game about? Basically, as you saw in the cutscene there, um, there was four people, an archer, a mage, a monk, and a squire. Ooh, oh, level up. Let's do damage. Yeah, right, yeah this game is a RPG slash tower defense game. So, pretty much, you control this player, you shoot stuff, level them up, all sorts. But as well as you have to, uh, can we change the camera? All right, that crystal over there, you have to defend it. You can defend it by obviously attacking the monsters that come through. And to aid you, you can play with up to four people. Well, it would be three, not four, seeing that you count as one. Yeah, you count as as player with four people, and you use towers to help you. So let's put a tower right here. Probably the most useless place ever. But, you know. Let's see how it goes. Right, I'll be right back. I'll just construct these towers. Right, I'm a back. Okay, let's go and, uh. So, ah, oh, there we are. That's how we start the run. Right. So you see, all of the enemies come through each of these doors, as you can see. Right there. Hello! And the attack buttons, you, you come as you level up, or like obviously explain it more in detail of special abilities and that as we level up. Um, each character comes with, I think, at least two unique abilities that either help yourself or others. I think, I think the max level you can go to, uh, if you download DLCs, is 70. 74, I think. I'm not too sure. But yeah, yeah um, the currency in this game is called mana. I think it's mana. I don't know, is it? Yeah, it's mana. 
and as you saw in here you can see that there's a bank bank mana you can put the mana in there or at the end of the game you, it gets put in there automatically and basically what mana does is you can use it to reset all your stats uh, change your name uh, and also use to buy weapons and upgrade weapons and also armor as well and um, armor basically everything has impact on how the game is played overall anyway because you get a lot of stats and these can be stats for increasing health increasing towers health um, how much damage you do how much you run your resistance to certain elements and that yeah if you if you want to read uh, you can read up about more of the information you'll probably get a bit more infirm <laughs> infirmed you'll get a lot more information from that than me oh how much Dang. Oh yeah, you also can't attack the monsters that are inside the purple area. 